Hello and welcome to my tutorial on Google Spreadsheet. Google Spreadsheet is an amazing tool to collaborate online with others. I'm going to show you how to create and share a Google Spreadsheet. This tutorial will have two parts. In the first part, I will create a Google Spreadsheet and key in some data. In the second part, I will share the spreadsheet with others. First, let's sign in to Google Drive. Click on the new button and select Google Sheets. The Google Sheets will be automatically saved onto the Google Drive. As you can see, the Google Sheets looks like the Microsoft Excel software and has many similar functionalities. First, let's give a title to the spreadsheet. Next, we can start keying in the data. Okay, I will just cut and paste. Next, we can create another column. Let's call it Profit. We can make use of the built-in calculation functionalities by entering an equal and keying in the formula for Profit. Profit can be calculated as the sales volume multiplied by the difference between the sales price and the unit cost and then we click enter we can drag the lower right corner of the cell to propagate the formula we can also insert a chart to help us to visualize the data Let's select the item name, column. Hold on to the control key and select the profit column. Go to insert and select chart. For this example, I will use the column chart. So we have a visual representation of the data on the chart. Now, I will teach you how to share the spreadsheet with others. First, click the share button on the top right hand corner. Here, we can key in the email addresses, for example. We can set the access right. In this case, I would like my recipient to be able to edit the spreadsheet so I select can edit we can also add a message to the recipients and then we click send Okay, next, the recipient would be able to see this spreadsheet appearing in their Google Drive. In fact, they can make edits in real time. For example, I'm going to get the recipient to key in item E from another account. Okay, let's observe this particular cell. As you can see,
we can make the observation in real time of what the other person is keying in. In fact, you can also open up a chat to speak to the other person. Finally, we can also export the spreadsheet for online, for offline data processing. You can download as, for example, Microsoft Excel. There. Okay, that's all you need to know to start using Google Spreadsheet. Have fun and goodbye.